Jake, how are we doing? I'm doing okay. I uh, just had something happen to me that I think is really going to irk you. Hey, hey, not hey. to start the really? podcast Let's, off with yeah, some it's a family podcast. vulgar language. <laughs> but uh, we've talked about it before in the pod. When businesses close before they say they close. Dude. Just happened to me. I went to Pi 5. Said they close at 8. 7.58, which I know that's cutting it close. It's cutting it close, but it's not 8. It's not. It's not 8. It's not even a minute away. No. It's twice that long away. You, that, <laughs> so I'm like knocking on the well, window. Well, pie 5, it takes them 5 minutes to make your pizza. Oh, uh, there's a remainder of 3. Mm -hmm. I should yeah. have thought about that. Yeah. I am knocking on the door. And they're like, <laughs> which you all knocking on the door. Like you're like, ah, this isn't going to work. Gonna be that guy. Yeah. <laughs> they're just going to come and say, Hey, we're close. And that's the thing. Even do I want a guy who wants to be done <laughs> yeah. so bad making right. my pizza? He's it's like, like making someone mad. Who's like about to give you a haircut. Like, right. I don't know if I want to make you <laughs> mad. Yeah. Like someone about to like cook me food. Right. But anyway, end up yeah, going we just to throughout the pepperoni, but we can get it out of the trash for you if you want. Us oh, to you want yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Dumpsteroni. I mean, pepperoni. No, we got some of that. No, we got plenty. <laughs> yeah. We call it the Joe exotic. Come on out. <laughs> the, uh, uh, oh, I ended up going to Panda Express, uh -huh. um, instead. And I got a fortune, Brad, which I thought I would read to you now. Okay. It says you will find new ways to say thank you this week. Thank we, you. we already found ways. Episode 69 or whatever it was. Talk skull do ha. Talk skull do ha. Hey. What other ways should we say thank you this week? I think we should say thank you uh, with actions, not just words, Jake. Mm. Um, um, thank you. Isn't it like you can like really like offend somebody if you do it the wrong way? Say, sign language? I think this is bad. Oh, Vafanavel, yeah? On YouTube right yeah. now, you see it. Yeah. On Spotify. <laughs> we're we're doing something with <laughs> our chins. <laughs> we're doing some sign language. If but, the if the deaf people are watching this on YouTube right now, they're so offended. I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Hey. No, no. I am no, seriously, <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> now it is offensive. Uh, yeah, now we're hurt Beals feelings. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, okay, what other ways to say, uh, I'm sorry, or what is thank it? Thank you. <laughs> is it? <laughs> thank you and I'm sorry are kind of one and the same. Uh, good tidings. Good tidings. Um, I, I appreciate your contributions. Mm. I, I hear you. Ooh, like, uh, Avatar. I see you. Ooh, never like that. seen that. And then like it's it. like, uh, it's like, no, it's not see, it's I see into you. Oh, that's how they say it. That's what you should say instead of like any like, the Pi Five guy gets done with your dumpsteroni and you just look at him with with your hand. I see into you. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, you know what? Just <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and lock up now. <laughs> this guy's freaking me out. This is why we always have two, at least two people working. <laughs> this guy's seeing inside of me. I don't like it. Oh, oh man. Gosh. Oh, Jingle time. Yeah. Great, 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 All right, Brad, how was your week, dude? Oh, uh, man, week has been nice. Yeah, in what ways? Um, that's a good question. I just said that because I was still <laughs> flustered about the song. Um, <laughs> the, that gap is so long. Yeah, because I didn't want to miss it because I have I have nightmares about missing uh, Wake Me Up, the Evanescence, Bring Me to Life. <laughs> I screwed that one up so bad. And so I'm like, I'm not going to do that again. I'm not going to do that again. And just did it again. So, um my week's been good, man. I've just been really busy with, I hate saying that, but that's true. I've been busy with work stuff. Um, and uh, life update for everybody, kind of not really that mediocre of a life update. I decided not to, I, I, I'm stepping down from my worship leading position at church. Mm. Um, Jake knew that already, so he's not reacting as, as crazy as everyone out there, I'm sure is, but like... <laughs> You know, I'm not freaking out like you guys are. <laughs> I'm not freaking out. You're freaking out. Uh, no. So yesterday was actually my last Sunday leading worship there, which was uh, bittersweet for sure. But we're excited about, you know, having a little more free time and yeah, focusing more on other things. So anyway, that's that's a that's a big week thing. And a lot of people were saying, at least I saw this on Twitter about your leave. Um, that you're doing it so you can get it's to the trending, right? Yeah. Are we trending? <clears throat> are yeah. we Knoxville? Yeah. Did we do it? Um, <laughs> I saw that uh, you were potentially leaving, or like the rumors were saying that you left because yeah. like you wanted to get to noon football games faster, like you I did it right noon. before football season. Yeah. Oh, it was 100% calculated. Okay, I thought so. Oh, yeah. I was like, this is, the Chiefs play on Thursday this week, so I can I can leave I this can Sunday. do this Sunday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were like, maybe maybe last Sunday should have been my last one, but I was like, no, I'll do one more. I'll do one more. Please, Chiefs God. Play on yeah, but <laughs> next week I'm like, out of here. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> there was a guy, there was a guy, uh, 
uh, growing up in my church, he was an older, like he's my dad's age guy, maybe older than my dad. Sorry, dad, don't be offended. Uh, his name's Keith Johnson. Oh, and okay. Keith Johnson had a uh, alarm that went off on his fo- or watch every single Sunday at noon and like didn't ever turn it off. Really? Like, so it was just like his way of, I feel like passive aggressively being like, it's wrap it up. Supposed to be over. Yeah. We don't need to do the third verse, okay? <laughs> First, second, and fourth. Let's get out of here. No one's even singing along. I know we surrender all. Let's get out of here. <laughs> you know? Uh, so Keith Johnson, and Keith Johnson was also known for breathing really heavily, or so, like basically sighing during a sermon. <laughs> so he'd be like in the like congregation. Like in a affirming way or just like a no, heavy breather way? Like, like I'm sure it was just like a subconscious thing that he would do, but it very much sounded like this passive aggressive, like this is so boring. Like he'd just be like, and Jesus said to the disciples, <gasps> sorry, Keith. We, <laughs> I no. mean, it was so loud. <laughs> oh, there's some stories about him, but anyway, uh, those are two of them. So yes, I can't wait to be watching every Sunday. Yeah. I was going to say to shout out Keith. I don't know if he listens to the pod. Do you think he listens to the pod? I a hundred percent do not think he does. <laughs> is he still alive? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, so there's yeah. a chance. He yeah, there's a chance. There's a chance. I mean, everyone, we're going worldwide. So yeah, we uh, are. I used to be kind of like, I don't know, more humble about advertising our podcast. Or when people ask, like, I heard you have a podcast. I'm like, yeah, you know, it just, <laughs> and my friend and I, it, we yeah. just talk or yeah. whatever. And now, like, the last two weeks, I'm like, yeah, I have a podcast. Like, it's called Ghost Runners. Like, it's really funny. Yeah. Like, you should listen to it. I love it. I've been dude. saying a lot more confidently, <laughs> which makes I, me feel weird. It's not natural, but I've been trying it. It is weird to be like, Hey, uh, I'm doing something that I'm proud of and I think you would like it. Like, because then it's like, okay, I guess I have to like it or else I'm going to lie to this guy. You know, no (laughs) one's going to be like, Hey, it's not that funny. Like, I don't like it very much, you know? And one thing that's nice is like so many people these days have some sort of side hustle, side business, whatever. Mm -hmm. And most ways you could support your friends cost money. This is like an easy way to support them for free. Just turn it on and let it, let it go in the background. Let it sit. Let it sit. Let it sit for a while. Um, Yeah, last night we were playing pickleball, and I saw a guy that I knew from K State, Andy. Yeah, Andy, and he's like, "I hear you have a podcast," and I was like, "Yeah, I didn't know. I don't remember how he knew about it, but I uh, said Twitter pro- t- trending. Oh yeah, that's right. Hashtag um, LPC exit uh, for <laughs> Ghost Runners. <laughs> I don't know. Um, and uh, but I said something like, "Yeah, you'll laugh. You'll laugh so much until you cry." And you're, Jake's oh, like, I was like, uh, is that how you've been? Is that how you've been like advertising this to people? Like that's a little extreme. <laughs> Cause I'm more the awkward, like what you were saying the first time, like there was some, there was a woman that came up to me at church because our friend Kathy McDonald posted our, um, uh, chiefs in the super bowl song. Yeah. Uh, cause shout out Nathan, Sh- like, shout out Nathan Cooley, C- Cooley, Kali, Cell, Sully. Cell, 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 cellulite, cellula. Yeah, um, he made an awesome like music video to that song uh, for the Chiefs opener, and it was great. We did a bonus episode. We said like this is you know whatever five months ago, mm-hmm. no longer whatever. If the Chiefs make it to the Super Bowl, we will do a bonus episode that also came with a bonus full song. <laughs> and yeah, he put together like Chiefs highlights yeah. to Brad's song. It was yeah, sick. it was awesome. So <clears throat> anyway, Kathy McDonald posted that video. Other people from church saw it, and they were like, "That video was so cool. I had no idea you did a podcast." No, and then other people I've... in the background are like, "You do a podcast? You do a podcast?" And I'm like. Like they just see me on Sunday mornings be like this very like normal, you know, collared shirt. Kind. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's my, that's my one week, time a week. And I'm like in the golf polo, you know? Yeah. And, and I'm just like, yeah, I do a podcast, but it's like really goofy. <laughs> like I don't, I don't ever like try to like make it sound like they shouldn't listen, but I'm just like, just know it's like we're, we're goofballs. Do you let them know that we say the I word every now and then? I do. I, I do say <clears throat> it's, it's a little, it's a little in a prop, um, for those, for, for the kids. Um, actually yesterday I was like, it's, it's clean. Like, like, but I kind of had to like question it. Like it's pretty clean. Like, I think we're clean, no, but we definitely have some, have some jokes that are a little bit, you know, crude. I think will. for two adult men, we're doing a pretty good job. That's fair. That's fair. As far as parental guidance. You're right. Things go. You're right. Thanks. Gosh, we're, you're right. Mom, <clears throat> mom, we're good. We're fine. Um, but yeah, anyway, I had something else to say, but I forget what it is now. Um, oh, uh, oh, about the pot. One more podcast, fun thing, promoting it, whatever. I was at the Chick-fil-A drive through. I already told you this a little bit, but I want to shout it out on the pod. So the Chick-fil-A Lenexa drive through the other day with Hattie and I paid for it. And this girl's like getting my iced coffee. And this other girl came up to me. She's like, 
I really like your podcast. Oh, let's go. And I was like, yes. <laughs> Cause I talked about last yeah! week. How, like I don't really ever, like I've gotten recognized like maybe once ever in public. Like high five and Hattie. You yes. hear that? <laughs> Hattie. We did it. She knows. She's going to win uh, state. <laughs> uh, but I don't, I don't, I don't, I didn't see the girl's name. I'm sorry, but she was told about it from her sister. So shout out to her sister. Really shout out anybody out there that's ever told anybody about our podcast. <laughs> that is so cool. Like so fun to me. Yeah. And if you have sisters, that's Shout also out to so your, cool. Shout out to people who have siblings and or parents out there. This episode this is, is for you. you. This is for you. This one right here. Episode 72. 72 is yep. for you. 72 is para tu. Mm, yeah. Para dos. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of sisters, yeah. I hung out with mine this week. Yeah. Uh, texted her. I was like, or I, I called her for her birthday. We were kind of chatting like, sorry, you know, we couldn't do anything. I was like, but let's, let's do something fun this weekend. Then I texted her. And I was like, you want to go to Sky Zone? And she said, yeah, yeah, I, I do. do really want to go to Sky Zone, <laughs> and just no shame, just two adults, just um, going to Sky Zone. I mean, the, the only people not middle schoolers there, which is kind of <laughs> weird. Um, end up taking uh, a couple friends. Um, Isaac was one of them, mm-hmm. and we get to. So first of all, we walk into Sky Zone, and it's like, uh, if you guys don't know, it's like a trampoline park. Yeah, kind of surprised they're open, like masks are pretty chill there. The foam pit's still open. The foam which, pit was like always filled with COVID. You're going to catch way more than uh, coronavirus right. going to that foam pit. The cove pit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and so it's, it's glow. It's black light night at sky zone. It's like, Oh ooh, yeah. Cool. Cosmic. Isaac is the first one to like go up and pay. And, um, I just hear him <laughs> like barely within earshot. I go, I have to glow. And I was like, what's up? <laughs> and so they make you, this is the like skeeviest policy. Like, Oh, you can't jump unless you glow. Uh, we do sell glow t-shirts. So if you'd like, what? Like, come on. What is it? What is con- what constitutes glowing? I know. Okay. I was wondering that too. I'm okay. like, is there like a like if you have a white sort of shirt, instrument are you good? That you like, are measuring this by? Yeah. How how glowy do I have to be here? Yeah. Because then also we saw some little children there. Not glowy. Not glowing. No. Yeah. Uh-uh. It was stupid. Sorry. Silly. It was silly. It was silly. Hattie. Let, hey, Justin, edit out that part. <laughs> <laughs> so first of all, we have to glow, which is ridiculous. So we all have to buy freaking t-shirts. You all had to? All t-shirts oh, have to buy. We my did. Oh, gosh. And then uh, <laughs> it's Sky Zone. You have to wear their socks. Yes. So you have to buy their socks. I knew that. Then we <clears throat> say, we'd like 30 minutes. Just 30 minutes of jump time. That's plenty to get the BPMs enough. Yeah. Like, where you're like, right. I'm sweaty. I'm good. They say... Uh-huh. Oh, on glow nights, we only do two hours at a time. That is bull. That is <laughs> like, yeah. Hey, let's let's just like, like they make their money back on glow night. Like they're they've been in the red all month. But it's like, guys, I know we've been struggling. We're getting but it back. Tonight is glow night. You hear me? We're getting it back. Like he's like doing like a big like he's got the patriotic flag, like the American flag behind him. Yeah. They will remember the night that they. <laughs> Came to glow. I don't know. Came to Sky Zone. Oh, know. it was so funny because Isaac was kind of the guinea pig too. Like I'm we like, glow all <laughs> night. <laughs> I don't know. Sorry. I don't want them to wear another black T-shirt. Another shirt. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, oh, Isaac man. is um, you know getting rung up. Yeah, and <laughs> his, his total his comes up run. to thirty eight dollars. <laughs> Thirty-eight dollars, no. <laughs> dude. Isn't oh that crazy? My God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I would have walked out. I would have walked out so hard. And like I'm laughing. There's so many Chipotle burritos. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I felt bad because I've like asked all these <laughs> your, people to it's come. Your idea, yeah. yeah. I'm like inviting people. Uh, <laughs> like our friend Dottie came. She was like, "What's Sky Zone?" I'm like, "Oh, it's this trampoline park." And she didn't know what it is. Yeah. Next thing, now she's forking over thirty dollars. <laughs> I like, I'm trying to do something nice for my sister. Like, took sure. her out to dinner beforehand. Already paid for a dinner. Yeah, you, I'm like, you, Yeah, you've already, like, done your dues. Yeah. Because I really thought, I was like, well, now I feel bad. This is, like, kind of my idea. <laughs> and she's, like, in grad school and, like, yeah, yeah, and yeah. trying to, like, work multiple, like, side jobs. Right. And now, I mean, like, she could pay it hourly. And I just, you know, it's like. Right. That's a that's lot of a hours. a lot of work. She that, can easily equate how much work that is. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. And so. Uh, and Isaac's just like, we're still laughing, but Isaac like, is that the minimum I can pay? <laughs> like, is there any- You're sure. Can we just get one big shirt and I'll just huddle into it? <laughs> no, I'll be right next to him all night. Oh, yeah, You'll yeah, see yeah. both of us. We'll be like the Siamese twins, like Matt Damon and whoever else the other guy was in the movie. <laughs> oh, yeah. What was that movie? I never saw I don't it. know. Twins? No, that's... Uh, sister, sister, I think. Sister, sister. Sister, sister. Sister, sister. Yeah. Yeah. T and Tamara. 
That's what, you were like, we'll do the TN Tamara we'll discount, do, is right? Is there a TN Tamara discount? The TNT? <laughs> Dynamite? <laughs> TNT. <It> close? Yeah. <laughs> So oh. all five of us spent $38 <laughs> a piece. Please tell me you used every single minute of that two oh, hours. Oh, yeah. We didn't. It was uh, I would have, 11.03 when they kicked us out finally. Oh, I would have like, they have dodgeball there. I would have like, like just been like, you want to make me stay for two hours? I'm going to obliterate every single middle schooler here in dodgeball. And the employees. Get I'm out gonna, here. I'm going to make it not fun for anybody. <laughs> like, <laughs> I want to pay you back for this. This one middle schooler kept like, he just. Kept going after Isaac for some reason. He's like, hey, 1v1 me in dodgeball. And just like wouldn't leave us alone. He's like, well, and Isaac's like, I'm not going to like 1v1 this middle school kid. But he wouldn't leave us alone. Oh, I would have just. This dude's scared to 1v1 me in dodgeball. <laughs> 1v1. Yeah, I like that. Which I don't know if you're allowed to just kick everyone off for this personal vengeance you have. But he was going for it. We never did that, though. Oh, man. Um, They had a balance beam. Uh, my sister did her oh, really? level five gymnastics beam routine for us. That was kind of fun. What does a level five gymnastics mean? H- how many levels are we talking? Like, is that like high up? Is that like close to a black belt of, of the beam? Like level 10 is the Olympics. Level 10 is Sean Johnson or whoever. Yes. Okay. Sean Johnson uh, East. Biles. Simone Biles. Sure. That yeah. too. Okay. Um, Level five is like, you're starting to get pretty into it. Oh, really? Like you're doing like some pretty cool, like tumbling stuff. Like she, she did still she pulled in up. high school. She did a, uh, no, she, she only went up to like sixth grade and oh, really? then was like, I want to play like school sports. So then yeah. quit to do like volleyball. Okay. You know, softball, all that. She can still do a cartwheel on the beam though. She's pretty cool. That's amazing. Yeah. Which is surprising. Like at any age, how much money would you pay me to try to do a cartwheel on the beam? <laughs> I would give you a full two hour session at Sky Zone. <laughs> so you have this whole time to try and do a cartwheel on the beam. I would just, okay, so imagine me trying to do it. I would literally like hit hit like get concussed immediately trying to cartwheel and just fall off and just like the process of getting better at that every time you lose you're in a foam pit which is miserable to get out of get back on the beam oh try my gosh cartwheel. yeah you probably try on the ground with like a piece of tape or something maybe yeah that's right. the way to do it but but yeah i don't know i would just fail miserably at that yeah but that was that was the best oh, oh my so gosh. you you have to glow you have to glow Oh man, that that is such a racket. <laughs> I know, I'm, I'm so glad zone. I wasn't there because knowing if if I was there, if I were there with you and Isaac, I would have put up a stink. Like you guys give me the courage to be like, whoa, 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 let's talk about this guy. Hey, look, hey, I see into you. I yeah. see into you. I see into you. But I see into my wallet, and I know that you're trying to ha- help us have a good time. But listen, like look, we're not gonna do this. Yeah, look, hey, listen. Did you say all those words? Listen, I mean, I mean think about c- it. Come on. Think about it. <laughs> think about it. <laughs> Work with me. Yeah. Oh, man. I should have, you, you could have like pulled out like the influencer card. <laughs> like, ne- like, never. <laughs> hashtag ad for Sky Zone. Or hashtag boycott Sky Zone in, oh, in Shawnee. Yeah. Cancel culture. <laughs> Ever heard of cancel culture, Tom from Sky Zone? Uh, it's probably how, your ad. How old was this guy that was dealing with you? I would say she was 16. Oh, she? Oh, say- <laughs> my gosh. I would have ripped into it. Oh, I would have just... <laughs> Listen! <laughs> Tina? I don't know. I'd be surprised. Yeah. Um, speaking of ripped, Spencer did ask to have his shirt pre-ripped. So this like, little high school girl is ripping the sleeves off the shirt. He's like, thanks. <laughs> they loved him, though. He went to go... I was giving Spencer a hard time because there was no... They had, like, a leaderboard for, like... <laughs> fastest time on the ninja warrior course oh and i was like spencer there's that first you know slot is open you know like no one has uh-huh. it and so he's like i'm gonna go ask for a marker and he was just gonna go write his own name and he asked for a marker comes back with an icy <laughs> he's like they just gave me this i asked for a marker they gave me an icy <laughs> that's classic like like you're so excited about a free icy when you just paid 38 dollars. <laughs> <laughs> awesome they gave me flavored ice i used to this always guy's not bad after all <laughs> i used to always joke like uh at parents day at canacook mm-hmm. um like they would always snow would, cones. Well, yeah, no, this is this oh. is a little bit farther down the joke ladder than I see <laughs> in snow cones. Uh, but they would always have like uh, like one staff member was like a the guy that dressed up as a parent and like sat in the stands, like in the uh. parent stands, and like would just complain about like camp and how stupid it was, and like and eventually like they get like thrown out and like uh. all the kids would go crazy and stuff. And so it was usually like the programs guy. So it was it was always me. I That's always dressed fun. up. I've never heard about this. Oh, it was so great. It was so great. Like I would just heckle him for like the first five minutes and be like. Oh, and I would just like make fun of all their like terrible jokes and like, who is this? Guy? Like, I would like look and like I have a mustache and like this awesome wig. And Dude, like, that sounds so funny. Oh, I was like this super like preppy, like had like an ascot looking thing on. And uh, but anyway, like there was always this Devo rap that we did every summer, oh, uh, yeah. like to teach kids about like the memory verses and stuff. Um, 
and we would do the Devo rap at the beginning and uh, the kids would all be into it. And uh, like the camp director would be like, you know, and that's free on our website. That's free for you guys to take home. And I'll be like, free? More like $2,000. <laughs> and everyone loved it. Like all the, all the parents just thought it was the best joke. Like there's no way that's free. We're paying all this money to bring our kids here. Oh, it's thank you for a free song. You know? Uh, yeah. It's like paying admission to a carnival or a theme park. I'm like, but the, the water's free once hey, you get in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, well. You can, you can ride the, go, the, the roller coasters as many times as you want. Well, yeah, because I paid all this money for I it. I have a ticket now. Like look at free icy. <laughs> free nickel icy. You know, like. Like, oh man, this anyway. place is awesome. <laughs> uh, uh, Sky Zone, though. Sky Zone, so dude. Sky Zone must have changed a lot in the last couple of years because I haven't been there. It's right down the street from my house, and they have a Ninja Warrior course. Dude, the, yeah, the thing that's sick there. You, don't worry about the Ninja Warrior course. Okay. most of the stuff hurts your hands. Oh, yeah. and you're like too big for it. It's like, oh, oh yeah, not, you know, um, like City Museum in St. Louis. Shout out St. Louis. Shout out St. Louis. Cool Louis. thing, but very small. Yes. Yeah. Tiny orifices. Yes. Yeah. Uh, but so cool. Yeah. Um, they have this thing there. I think it's called like the wipeout or something. Basically, it looks like something would be on wipeout. Oh, center, um, oscillating device, <laughs> okay. two foam poles coming out of it. One low, one high. Love it. And that thing swings around and you, you're each on your individual trampoline trying to jump over and then duck under. But not only is that already pretty fun, it's like manually controlled, like a mechanical bull. So he can kind of like stutter it. Like you get up in the air and the then he like brings it back. Does? Yeah. Oh, he can, you can go back and forth. He can go back and forth. Oh. He can like move it like super fast. Like every now and then he just whip it. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. It was awesome. Like some kids got smoked. I would get so nailed in that. Oh man. It was bad. I mean, oh, it's unpredictable awesome. movements. Okay. So you got your $38 worth. It obviously. was fun. Yeah. Uh, it was sweaty, but I mean, yeah, it was also $38. <laughs> For jumping around for a couple hours. Oh, my god! And it was the night before. So this is from 9 to 11 p.m. Uh, just getting swamp sweaty, jumping around. I'm kind of an old man. Like, it's a long time for your knees to just, like, sustain your weight. No, you every know, time bouncing. I've ever gone to Sky Zone in any time of life, I've always been sore the next day. And then the very next day at 8 a.m., Isaac and I have a pickleball tournament, which right. was not the wisest thing for right. our knees. Yeah. Um, was you it your knees up. or your calves? I remember my calves were always oh, sore. Oh, really? Calves are great. <clears throat> You're good on the calves. The calves are nice. Oh, good. Knees, not so much. Yeah. Your um, calves are strong like bulls. Yes. Yeah. Um, that line from Step Brothers. She's had the old bull. Now she wants the young calf. <laughs> uh, whatever. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, but Brad, you came to the pickleball tournament. Thanks I for did. supporting with You're Patty. Welcome. Yeah, that was fun. You, you just what checked our location and showed up because we did yeah. not even tell you that we were playing in one. No, you did. You told me. Oh, I told you. I, I, I knew. I knew that you were playing in one. I knew you, you were playing in multiple, and so I was like, which one's this? And maybe Isaac told me, but yeah, I knew you guys were playing. Gotcha. Uh, but I didn't know a time. And so I had to like do a little bit of research, but yeah, Catherine has like, like I've been so busy. And so Catherine's just been like with the kids almost nonstop this week. And so I was like, let me just like take Hattie for as long as I can, you know, do something and yeah, do, do whatever. And so I was like, you want to go watch pickleball? She was <laughs> like, yeah. So I actually made a video for the Patreon that I never like posted because it wasn't very good once. Cause once we got there, she was like, not about pickleball. Yeah, she wasn't. She was like, wanting to like play on the playground <laughs> Howdy. like a freaking kid <laughs> i'm like come on watch watch their technique yeah. this is gonna be you someday <laughs> like you and me we're gonna do the father-daughter tournament yeah you know pickle and their offspring i don't know um <laughs> so but <laughs> anyway uh so one fun thing about that uh tournament yeah is oh i i cannot wait for this bread <laughs> to tell you this i've been saving it up so there was these guys that we played against, um, really nice guys, father son duo, okay. uh, Robert and Ray Chang. I found out their first names afterwards. Yeah, the Chang duo. Yeah, which they're definitely more fun to call Daddy Chang and Young Chang. Oh yeah, because that's what Isaac and I were calling uh -huh. them as we were playing them. Mini Chang. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, two Changs. Two Changs. Oh dang, that should have been their two. name. Yeah. <laughs> dang, they should be called Two Changs. Wasn't they just Team Chang? That was their name. Yeah, I think just yeah. Team Chang, uh -huh. which is more powerful. But yeah. ooh, maybe they could have like the Great Wall because they were oh, hard to get the ball past. The Great Wall. The Dang. Great Wall of Chang'e. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of good. Um, if they listen, you're yeah. welcome. Yeah, you're good, Chang's. Also, if you listen, you're going to really like this part. So um, <laughs> the older man, I mean, this guy is probably, his son is 37. So, and he look. I mean, he's at least in his 60s. Yeah. Maybe older. Maybe not, though. I would say, yeah. Confident looked, at least 60. Yeah. So he <laughs> wants to play with Isaac and I more. So he gets my phone number. Uh, he's the classic old man joke. Like, there's my assistant. Get it from her. It's his wife. Okay, so here's what we know. His wife got my phone number. His wife does not have an iPhone. Okay. But 
about eight hours later that night, I get a text from an iPhone and I, it it might be him um, because of what he texted me, but it's also not an iPhone. OK, <laughs> so, Brad, I'm going to text you right now what he sent me. I just want your like reaction to it. So keep in mind, this is a 60 year old man. I'm pretty sure um, okay. who texted me this. Oh, it's going so slow. Oh, my uh, freaking just, Wi-Fi. Just, just let it go. It'll get there. Um, <laughs> wow, the anticipation. Oh, okay, okay. It delivered, I think. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it said? <laughs> That's it. Can we show YouTube? <laughs> yeah, turn it around. Oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so It's just a Chinese dude kissing an egg roll. It just That's it. Just a gif of a Chinese <laughs> man kissing an egg roll. I'm like, is this from a 60 year old man that I met playing pickleball. Like he does not like, he was kind of joking around, Yeah, but it's yeah, also yeah. like, I met an old man playing pickleball. Is this how he like introduces himself? An egg roll gif. And so I didn't know. It's kind of like jokingly seductive. You know, yeah, yeah like, he's like kissing it. Yeah. It's like, could this be him? I didn't uh -huh. know what to say. So Brad, now I'm texting you what okay. I sent to him. Cause I didn't know, I didn't know what to oh, say. Oh yeah, Ralph Macchio. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so this is, this is uh, the karate kid yeah. waving. I figured okay. that, you know, put me in a position oh, of like... good Mr. Miyagi. Oh, exactly. Yeah, oh, yeah. I didn't even yeah connect that at first. That's very yeah, good. Yeah, it's yeah. like a white kid waving to an Asian man. Yeah, sure. Figured that'd be great. Oh, yeah. He texted... So he doesn't <laughs> respond to that for two days. <laughs> doesn't respond to... Uh, yeah. I the, love how you just... You didn't say any words. You just hit the, the wave back. Yeah. I didn't want to like ruin the joke. I'm like, we okay. have a good thing going. Yeah. I think. Yeah. I don't know who this is. Also, the area code San Diego. So who okay. knows? Yeah. Who knows? Yeah. Um, then today he texts me, got any plans for the end of January? So now I'm like, <laughs> is this, this guy? Who, uh, who is this? Oh my gosh. <laughs> but I, I'm not going to ask who it is. Like, I just, I want to yeah. find out that it's him. You want to figure it out. Naturally. So yeah. I said, not really. What'd you have in mind? And he hasn't texted me back. Oh, but okay. maybe he'll text me back while we're recording. Well, that'd be nice. But man, it was the, I mean, the best gift I've ever received. Wait, I, I would, I would. Tell me, you don't have to do this, but can you send like a, maybe a couple question marks of a text right now so we can accelerate this thing while the <laughs> podcast is going? 1030 at night. This dude's for sure asleep. It's 1030. Gosh, it does not feel that late to me. Good. Uh, yeah, I feel good. Um, okay, darn. Oh, man. Just send a couple question marks. <laughs> I, I really want to get to the end of the bottom <laughs> know, of this thing. All right. What do you have? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Changs, man. I love that gif. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it just says, what do you have in mind? Because if it's pickleball related, then it's Chang. If it's just like, yeah. had a free weekend and wanted to hang, then I'm like, this is probably not Chang. Yeah, because he wouldn't have just said hang, he would have said wanted to Chang. Wanted to Chang. Yeah. And then that makes me want to Chang my mind about yeah, hanging out with him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Climate Chang. <laughs> <laughs> you don't even say in a sentence. Yeah. <laughs> climate Chang. Uh, you want to go to uh, Sky Zone and uh, Climate your, Chang? Get your tires Chang? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't get it. Um, uh, okay. Uh, cool. That's that's fun. <laughs> One, oh, so this is something that we could maybe try to get a response by the end of the podcast. Okay. Brad, this is something um could be kind of fun. And I need your help with it. Mm -hmm. So every so often, people try and set me up with, like, maybe one of their friends or someone in their family or whatever. <clears throat> I get tagged in an Instagram comment uh, yesterday that just, like, see what you're missing out on, Jake? And I just assumed that, like, this is probably someone's profile who they've messaged me about before. Okay. And so I go back and look at the commenter's DM and we've never DM'd before. So I'm like, oh, she's never tried to set me up with anyone. Who is this? Mm -hmm. So now I go back and look at whose profile it is. I'm like, oh, she has half a million followers. Kind of a Lauren Daigle situation oh, when they try yeah. to set me up with her. Like, you don't know either of these two people. Yeah. However, this person's profile that she's trying to set me up with is Candace Cameron's daughter. Oh. From Full House. Uh, okay. Yeah. Is she on Full? Is she a Fuller House member? I think so. Like, I think so. Like the girl, like the young girl? Yes. Okay. So her name's Natasha. Natasha. I also found out after some digging and from the mutual friends we had that Natasha was a can of cut camper. Oh, so how old is she then? I think she's like 22, 23. Okay. Legal. It <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to figure yeah, out how weird yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, so I figure we got one shot at this, Brad. I'm going to DM her. She's got a half a million followers. I think so, it's time. So we got to do something really good to get her attention. Okay. So I have some things written out, but it needs some like spicing up. Okay. So this is where you come in. I'm okay. going to DM Natasha, Candace Cameron's daughter, and I mean, hopefully she replies by the end of this podcast, because okay. that would be... That would be nice. Hot. Yeah. She, okay. she probably lives in California, so it's so like only 30 there. Yeah. 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 Oh, San Diego. <gasps> Chang. 
Oh, dang it. <laughs> <laughs> we've, moved, we've moved on. Okay, okay so <laughs> I, here's the, the, the idea I'm going with is like an accidental DM. So what okay. I'm thinking is uh, the destination drive is running out of... Sp- oh, sorry. This is not a message. <laughs> okay, I just got another... <laughs> I just got another... Low on disk storage. Oh, okay, yeah. hold on. Let me delete some stuff. I got to delete a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. You haven't backed stuff. up your iPhone. <laughs> yeah. A lot of stuff. I got to erase a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Okay. Move, oh, move man. to trash. As you're doing that, shout out to the oral history of the office for like the 20th time because it's so good, guys. Have and you been listening still? Yeah. Oh, I... Oh, I get so excited. Like, never. Mind. I was going to say, I will say it because you can't just not say stuff like that. Like, I know that people get really excited on Monday mornings to listen to us. And that's how I feel about this podcast. And I never really understood why people were so excited to listen to a podcast. You before. weren't a podcast guy. I'm not a podcast guy, but I am now a podcast guy. I love that podcast. So much. <laughs> I know podcast guy. Yeah. I know podcast guy in Japan, <laughs> in America. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. So here's what I'm thinking to DM her. Okay. That's really nice of you to offer, but it's not about getting the recognition. You can name the children's hospital after someone else. Please. I insist. Oh, yeah. I like this. That's it so far. And then the follow-up message would be like, oh, God. Oh, oh, that <laughs> yeah. was not supposed to go to you. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I am so sorry. Whoa. I'm embarrassed. That was supposed to go to the New York Times or the Pentagon <laughs> or something. <laughs> I have no idea. Yeah. Okay. Um, so anything you would spice in it? Do I need more, like, uh, meat in the original message of, like, the children's hospital? I think you, I think you, like... <laughs> This is a joke. I don't know if this is really good advice or not, but I think you like tripled down on that idea. <laughs> okay, like, okay. I think okay. you send that one and then I think you send like three more, like with very specific things that you've done. Like, okay. So we got to, <laughs> we got to type all these out right now. Um, so you said, what did you say about the children's hospital? That's really nice of you to offer, but it's not about getting the recognition. Oh, you yeah. can name the children's hospital after someone else. Yes. Please. I insist. Um, if anything, name it after uh, one of those 15 kids I burned or I, burned. <laughs> <laughs> I, I pulled from the wreckage. Those people are the real heroes. Okay, okay, um, okay. <laughs> this is good. If anything, I was just talking to, or I was just having my daily chats with them this past week. Um, <laughs> this past week, daily chats. Darn it. Uh, ah, it's hard, guys. Okay, it's improv. Okay, I changed my mind. Uh, <laughs> it, something about like, I was just talking to, Lavandrius this week and <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um and and he just like I don't know. I don't, I don't know. What 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 sorry, yeah, I'm what, typing. What did I'm typing. Want? Um if anything, name it after one of the 15 kids that I pulled from the wreckage last week. Mm-hmm. God bless their souls. Maybe some one of those in there. God Yeah. God uh, I see you. No. Um the the cool Honestly, the coolest thing about all this is that I've been taking them to church with me. <laughs> I don't know. Something like that to like, I don't know, like show that you're Christian and yeah, that yeah. you're missional and d- dis- discipling. Yeah. Them. And I'm good with kids. And you're great with kids. Not too good. Not too good. Like I don't Not know yet. their exact ages. Like you don't know what to say to them on the playground yet. No, 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 yeah, no, no, yeah. no, no, no. But yeah. like totally comfortable with 15 of them in my van. Oh, yeah. Now yeah. that is well, where I feel yeah. at home. <laughs> oh, maybe, maybe just the two. Maybe just the two. Okay. Like the first one and then the wreckage. Okay. <laughs> in the wreckage. <laughs> or okay. is that? Yeah. No, I think it's good. It's good. Okay. I'll, let me type that up. Okay. Um, Brad, give me an update. What's, what's something happening this week? Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. I quit my job. I got <laughs> chatted out of Chick-fil-A. I went to Jake's tournament. Those are the three things I have. Oh, <clears throat> um, as you're typing this up. Well, I don't, I don't know. I want you to talk about. Or Okay. Here's I something. Uh, I was at Home Depot today getting up some wood. And uh, there's like a little like a uh, garage, not a garage, but like overpass thing where the lumber is, where people can park. Can you kind of imagine like right by the entrance, there's these parking spaces. Anyway, it's for like loading and unloading of okay. like lumber and stuff. And so I was loading up some wood and there was this guy that was trying to get out. Um, and I, my, my wood cart was basically in the lane. So I was like trying to move it. And he like honked at me a few times and he was like making some hand motions. And I was like, I don't really understand. He's like making them again. Like, I don't really. I'm not fluent in ASL. <clears throat> it's I just a podcast joke. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I don't even know. Thank and you. And finally, like I moved out of the way uh, again because I was trying to move out of the way. And he rolled down his window. He, he, I'm trying to remember the exact words, but he was like, uh, I know you're hard work and studly. So I'm just, I'm just trying to get out of your way. And I'm, I was going to, I was going to back out and go some other way. And I was, and I kind of laughed. And then I like, thought about it later as he drove by. I was, I was like, what, like, did he use like studly as my name? Like, like did what, I catch a pet name? Did in that there? guy kind of hit on me a little bit? It was like this, like 45 year. I mean, it was like, never would this guy really be hitting up. It was a weird sentiment and statement. As like, a, I know you're hard working studly, and so I'm just trying to get out of your way. Uh, and I was like, yeah, 
<laughs> you should start doing that. Just subtly hitting on dudes at Home Depot. <laughs> oh, excuse me, babe. Yeah, you're having a good day. Uh, sorry, handsome. Yeah, can you just get around? I'm just trying to get around to get some two by four by eights. Yeah, um, <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it was just it was just a really weird thing. I don't know. Maybe he's just trying to be overly nice because he had like a, you know, one of those business decals on his truck. Mm -hmm. so maybe he's he's just like, trying to, trying to get like, some business. Man, yeah, I want to. It was he is a decking guy. So I, like, uh, I, I need I need my deck built by that guy. Oh, be careful. Yeah, <laughs> you know he's got a good deck, Bob. He called me stud the other day. Bob. <laughs> just the word deck. You yeah, know? deck. You got to be careful well, how you yeah, use it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I do like that. Yeah, just flirting with, her, with dudes in a hardwood store. All you could do. Yeah. I'm looking for some stain, pretty. Or sorry, some pretty stain. I need some pretty stain. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you have it typed up? I have um, one more no, I really thought. focus on your story. Thank I didn't you. type at okay. all. Okay. Uh, well, okay. So another thing that Catherine's doing, I think this is going to be potentially, like, you know how like a new trend in women like during quarantine was sourdough bread or like making your own bread. I was telling Trey about this today. We okay. had a writing session. I was looking at Google trends, YouTube trends. I'm like, dude, sourdough is still on the rise. Okay. So speaking of literally, yeah, she, she's been doing that, but this is different. This is a new trend that I think is going to start uh, going like you'll see it places. non sourdough. So this is out of context oh. um, picture. I'm going to text it to you oh. um, and you let me know what you think. Oh, I got a attachment. One image. Oh, Okay. That's not the picture you meant to send, is it? It is, 100%. Yeah. <laughs> what am I looking at? Uh, <laughs> so these are... <laughs> this uh, seems like a really bad Facebook marketplace ad for like <laughs> selling a bathtub. It's yeah. like you could have cleaned it out first. Okay. So th <laughs> so this this new trend that's going to like go around is like, I think Catherine calls it, I think it's like stripping your clothes. Okay. Don't, don't make that. No, it's an easy that. joke. A little hanging fruit. Don't, don't make that joke either. Um, uh, Bob's deck. Okay. <laughs> uh, but it's like... It's like deep cleaning, like all this stuff that's like in your clothes. So this is like right when they put them in this or maybe like 10 minutes after they were put in. I'm yeah, gonna, yeah. Describe gonna, the picture. Uh, so it's just it's just a bathtub filled with I don't know, whatever Catherine put in there and my like all my dry fit shirts. It's like, like rubber like, banded she definitely clothing. targeted like there's none of her shirts in here. Like they're all mine. Like she's like, no, your shirts are way nastier than mine. OK, so this is after I don't know. I, I don't remember. Let me see if she says on there. Um so that first picture was right at the start. The second picture is one hour in. Oh, Brad. Okay, okay. Watch this. Oh, and this, they're just sitting there and the color is changing that much? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So this is... What's this called? Stripping clothes. Stripping your clothes. Yeah, this is three and a half hours in. That's disgusting, dude. <laughs> and oh, this is... Oh, you got to get a new bathtub. Yeah, I know. It's, it's so it, dark. It, you got to strip your tub now. And this is like what it looked like at the finale, what she took all the clothes <laughs> The finale. Out. That's what she called it, the finale. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> oh. Yeah, dude. Dude. <laughs> she and, keeps saying, dude. 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 Whoa. It's so dark. So, but actually, though. <laughs> oh. And she literally was like, oh, we should get Jake's clothes over here. <laughs> I just bought new clothes. So all my clothes are like you pretty fresh. That's what you think. And let's put them in there. I don't, I don't know what that is. Like, I don't know how it works, but it's like a trend going. I don't know if it's like going around to all girls, but it's definitely going around to the moms of the world where they're like, Gosh. like she like went and like got these specific things to do this with. And she was like so excited and like, so it's like so satisfied to her. To like like specific it. things. Like there's like powder in the yeah, water. Whatever, that draws it was like it out. clean or something like that. Okay. Yeah. So they're not just sitting there. No, yeah, they're not. No, yeah, they're not just in oh. water. Oh no, no, there's like something that's like extracting whatever out of them. Still, I mean, that's a lot. I mean, guys, for I those, should have explained that. Sorry. Like, yeah, trying to imagine this. Like, imagine the water that you see an alligator like swimming around in. It's that color water, maybe even more brown than that. Or imagine like when you have really bad digestion issues and you go to the bathroom. That's yeah. what it looks like. And you repaint the the porcelain throne <laughs> a new color. Yeah, imagine the scene in Dumb and Dumber where Harry is just struggling in the bathroom. Like, I'm just shaving. <laughs> uh yeah it's really dude maybe that's kind of exciting though like i you know I, yeah yeah i i i'm always like so skeptical of everything so i'm like obviously you see stuff there but it's like okay is that just like it's like made colors? to like yeah 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 because i want to do it maybe this is what we do we we take those exact same clothes and do it again and then what's gonna happen restrip them yeah strip them twice yeah mm -hmm. so anyway that was yeah, th something like literally she was like ringing them out as I was going over here. I was like, will you please send me some pictures of this so oh. I could talk about it on the podcast? Because she was she really wants to do some of your clothes. <laughs> really? I don't know. I don't know what that says about how she feels about you. But that's fine. Um, I mean, yeah, I've bought. Do I spent so much money the last 24 hours? 
First of all, the flowers I told you about, which we don't need to talk yeah. about that. Dude. Flowers are expensive. Flowers so if you ever get flowers, be very appreciative of them. Holy cow, yeah. flowers are expensive. You know what makes them more expensive? When they don't get delivered <laughs> when they're supposed to on their birthday. That's when you get your money back right there. Hopefully. Yeah. And they'll go to Sky Zone with that yeah. a couple times. <laughs> Sky Zone money. Um, I spent uh, $100 on a new pair of shoes today. Oh, wow. Because I've been wearing these boys <laughs> for two years. Those are birthday shoes. Which correct? bird? Birthday shoes. Hey. Uh, what do you mean by birthday shoes? I got to wear them with anything else? <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Get out of the shower. They're your shower shoes. Uh, I thought you got them for your birthday. Is that inaccurate? You got some shoes recently for your birthday. One of the last couple of birthdays. Uh, yeah. I don't, it's funny that you can remember better than I can because I should be <laughs> able to remember Maybe this. Maybe those can. aren't the ones. Um, I bought these a couple years ago in Los Angeles and they have holes in them. And I'm just like, Jake, you can afford shoes and you've had them for two years. Yeah. Just buy new shoes. Yes. And justify it by calculating it divided by 24 months. <laughs> right. They're not that expensive. Yeah. 720 days or whatever. Oh, I thought like, he's like, so 720 divided by 24 <laughs> months. They're Yeezys. I need Yeezys. <laughs> yes. That's, I've been giving Isaac such a hard time because Isaac has bought a really expensive CNC machine and a really expensive table saw. But he literally like does not have a broom in his shop to like like and so he uses it and he doesn't even have like a like there's like little small like brush brooms. He takes his um window scraper and it has like a little brush attachment, but it's like super hard bristles. I'm like, do you not have a broom? He's like, Oh yeah, I have this. <laughs> I'm like, you're spending seven, eight thousand dollars on these like tools, but you won't pay ten dollars for a broom. Uh, so that's, yeah, that's kind of where I was at. I yeah. was like, I'm starting to spend a lot of money on not a lot of money, but just, I'm starting to buy new clothes, new wardrobe right. and it's have holes in my shoes. That's yeah. silly. Yeah. 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 Um, and the shoes, people notice the shoes almost more than anything. They're the lips of a man. People say right. the, the, from women. That's why you get lifts <coughs> in them sometime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You like inject uh, yeah, some yeah. height into uh -huh. them, uh, make them plumper. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> plumper. Okay. I'm going to finish this message to, uh, Candace's daughter. Okay. Um, on a, Yeah. Please, I insist. If anything, name it after one of the 15 kids that I pulled from the wreckage last week. Honestly, the coolest part of everything is how willing they've been to come to church with me. Yeah. I think that's good. That's a message right there. Yeah, that's perfect. Okay. So we're going to copy, paste, and then we got to be quick just in case we don't have the foot fetish <laughs> thing again. And your, your, your Wi-Fi has been going back and forth. Yeah. I'm going to hit it quick with the, oh, God. But I'm still going to capitalize God so she knows where, where my priorities or are. Or maybe, maybe you should say gosh. Ca capital gosh. No, Lowercase gosh. No, no other goshes before him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, gosh. I'm embarrassed. Next message. <laughs> wrong person? Yeah. Wrong wrong influential um, person <laughs> that I'm interested in dating. <laughs> <laughs> the mayor was supposed to see this. Yeah. Wrong person. Wrong person. Two exclamation points. I'm so sorry. While I have you. <laughs> Not that I have you. <laughs> yeah. Well, I have you. All right, boom. Five messages sent in fifteen seconds. You're That's, not, you're, but you're not going to ask any questions of her. Nope, nope, nope. That's just so you're just like serving the ball, but it's going out of bounds. I think I'm closing my eyes while I'm serving it, so it might be a strike. <laughs> okay, it might not <laughs> a strike. <laughs> We're going back and forth on the analogies. Okay. I'm just trying to get a touchdown. Okay, <laughs> perfect. Um, I yeah, just trying to get her attention. Okay, let's do it. Oh, okay. So we'll we'll wait on that. So, oh, speaking of just uh, funny conversations, I don't even know how to like really talk about this because it's like too many conversations I've had with this guy, but I've had too many interactions with this guy not to bring it up on the podcast. Uh, he's a guy who's one of my down the street neighbors who I connected with because he saw me working outside and he's, his name's Henry, Henry, the neighbor, uh, Chicago guy and lives in Kansas city, obviously now, um, but wanted me to build some stuff for him out of this wood that he'd harvested from trees on his property, whatever. Uh, but the dude calls and talks to me so much. Mm. He's, he's the guy that I, uh, whenever we recorded the um, Patreon uh, bonus episode with Isaac, you can get it for $5 a month if you want to. That's like uh, nothing. Oh, it's like one latte a day. One seventh um, of a Sky Zone visit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but he's the guy that like, I was like, I don't really know how to end conversations with like people that are just continuing to talk. Like he'll call me and it's like easily a textable or, uh, you know, whatever, like conversation. And we'll just talk for, I mean, it's not like super long, but today we talked for 16 minutes on the phone. That's too, That's long, too long for a neighbor. That's too long for a neighbor. What does he even need? He, okay. So today he was like, so he's got this awesome accent, which I'm going to try to, uh, here we go. Emulate a little bit. Hey Brad, 
And, and it's like, it's, <laughs> it's like this, uh, like so far I haven't heard a big difference. No, no, no. I mean, it, maybe it's not that much of an accent. It's just the way he talks. Like, it's like, it, it's like, he's like, like, okay. About like kind of just being really direct with you. Like it's kind of European Eastern, whatever, like North, Northeastern. He's like you know, still kissing on New the cheek, Yorker. but it's over the phone. He's like, he's like, no, now I'm, I'm thinking about, uh, maybe cutting down my cedar tree. I'm thinking about cutting down my cedar. What do you think about that? <laughs> What do you think? Because, I mean, that would look pretty. He literally said this. He's like, I mean, if you etch a razor back in that thing, because I was like making stuff out of CNC stuff for him. If you etch a razor back in that thing, that would look pretty sexy, right? That would, oh, and, wow. Yeah. And he's like this. He's probably 60 years old, like mustache guy. He's like, what do you think, Studley? He's like, yeah. like twice in one week. <laughs> he's like, I'm thinking I'm thinking I'm probably going to have a guy down in uh, southern Missouri uh, make a make a front door for me. You could finish that for me, couldn't you? You could finish that. Now, what's that really going to cost me, Brad? <laughs> like he loves like using my first name. Uh, his son's a baseball player, uh, University of Arkansas. He's a pitcher there. Okay, and he's telling me all about that. Uh, he's like, you know, he throws ninety eight miles an hour. <laughs> and he's like, kind of looking at me like that. Throws ninety eight miles an hour. That's pretty good. I don't know if you know about speed, but he's like, he's like, and they got he, they got different. I don't know if you know about the scouts, but they got different uh, numbers for. Uh, I don't know if they, he talks quite that much, but like numbers for, uh, you know, their different pitches. And he had a slider that was about a, th- about a one, maybe a two. Brad, he went down to Florida this summer. He was, tell- he was telling me he's got that slide up to a four. <laughs> what is the scale? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I, I played don't know. baseball my whole life. I think, I think, yeah, it's some scouting thing because he's, his roommate is Dayton Moore's son. Like, cool. Uh, Royals GM. Uh, but he, he's got it up to a four. And then he kind of just like waits for my reaction. So I'm like, really? You yeah. ever had, you ever had apples? <laughs> How about them apples? Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah. A, a uh, four, Brad. <laughs> <laughs> I just sold have a speech Brad. impediment. Come on, Brad. <laughs> We're gonna take it down to Woro Missouri. <laughs> four <laughs> with Brian Turnbull. <laughs> oh man, it was just like uh, I mean, Henry's just this great. I mean, he's just like he he, he the other day he's like, you know, hey Brad, uh, you gonna get done with those cutting boards soon? I'm just curious because uh, my wife's going out of town in Chicago. Uh, you know, it's 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 her father or no, it's it's her uncle's hundredth birthday. Hundred years, Brad. Hundred years. That's that's pretty uncommon. That's pretty uncommon. <laughs> Somebody turns a hundred, you gotta go. <laughs> he's, he's like, I like it, the way he talks. Yeah, oh, it's awesome. I mean, he's great. It's just sometimes I want to get work done, and I'm sure. like, you know, Henry, we can't talk forever. Now, what do you think about that? He'll always be like, now, what do you think? Twenty five times the score of my son's four pitch. Hundred, a <laughs> hundred, a hundred years old. She's got to go. But I said, I said, you know, we could wait till Christmas on these gifts. We don't have to get it done right now. We don't have to get these done. So, so you know what? <laughs> he said some words I shouldn't say, but he's like, don't bust your butt. Don't bust your butt <laughs> trying to get this done, okay? Okay, just don't bust your butt. Just if it gets done, it gets done. I'm like, Henry, it's going to get done if you stop talking to me. Henry sounds like he's used that same like threat, but like as a part of the Italian mob. <laughs> Like, if you don't get the money to me, I'm going to have to bust someone's butt. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I hope it's not yours. I hope it's not your family's, but it's going to be someone's. I'll be honest, Jake. I'll be honest. I've broken kneecaps before. Uh, normally, I just break two. But last week, I went down to Florida. I broke four. Okay? Four, Jake. Okay? L- last, last spring, I was doing one, <laughs> maybe two. Yeah. And then four. And you don't want to make me bring out the slider. I'll bring out the slide. I'll, I'll knock your knees right at you. If you I'm ever heard of you. Tanya Harding? That's nothing. <laughs> Tanya Harding. That's nothing. Yeah. I mean, 100 years old, I don't care. I'll whack them. I'll whack them, <laughs> Brad, okay? I'll whack. I will. I'll do it. Okay? You have a good day though. Okay, huh? but you have hey, a good day. Hey, though. Brad, nice talking to you. And that's the other thing. It's like it's like we used to have these long conversations, and then they just abruptly end every time. He's like, anyway, okay, I'll talk to you later, Brad. Bye. <laughs> oh, it's awesome. like don't get any words in. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, anyway, Henry, Henry's the man. I'm, I'm, <laughs> like I made tons of stuff for him. And he wants me to make lots of more. So I really, Sexy I really do enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, and he he picked up all his cutting boards the other day. He's like, oh. Look at the look at the way this shimmers, Brad. Look at the way. I mean, that's just a natural shimmer. You know, he's like he's like moving the moving the cutting board back and forth. Like, look at that. Look at that. And I'm like, yeah, I made them. <laughs> I've looked at them probably yeah. more than you have, you know, because of the whole process of me making them. Oh, oh, hot dog. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to Chicago. I don't know if I told you. Got an aunt, hundred yeah. year old. Yeah, think about getting a hot dog up there. I'm thinking Lou Malnati's probably for the Italian beef, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I'll call you. Yeah. You know, you know Nathan's hot dogs. That's that's a scam, Brad. That's a scam. That's not real hot dogs. Hot dogs. Yeah. You know, you go to Sky Zone on a Friday. You got to glow. They make me glow. They made me glow, Brad. 
thirty-eight dollars. I said, no, <laughs> this is another thing. Like he, he literally was complaining about. He's like, yeah, I usually buy all my trucks down at Shawnee Mission Ford. I don't buy from them anymore. They've really gone downhill. He's like, I got my tires changed there the other day. They said, he's like, he's like, he's like, their their lug nuts. They said my lug nuts were so tight that they had to burn them off. <laughs> and he had like that big, <laughs> this big like, <laughs> they had to burn them off. Like, he's like so I got two hundred forty dollars more new of new lug nuts on there. <laughs> <laughs> he did. He did. Like I love the, the old man. Pause. And wait for you to have some insane reaction. <laughs> like, what am I supposed what? to do now? Why? Come, I don't need to burn those off, Henry. You're kidding. Yeah, you had to burn them off. You know. <laughs> how do you like your? How do you like your truck, Brad? You like it? I'm thinking. I'm thinking about getting a new one. But that those guys down there, you know, they had different owners. I I bought. He like literally <laughs> told me the whole thing. I bought all. I bought my whole truck. I I usually buy from this one guy. He left for a while. He came back. He came back. Came back, uh, they always do, huh? You know what I mean? It they was just like, anyway, I gotta go. I'll see you, Brad. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, Brad, just let me know. Just let me know. And once again, don't bust your butt, <laughs> if you know what I mean. Now, seriously, don't bust your butt on this, okay? Okay, because I'm going down to Fayetteville to watch my son play. You know he's got four slider now. He's got four <laughs> Oh, man. Great guy. So, <laughs> I just, I don't know. Maybe Dude, that's have great. More, like, he just stops by. He just calls me, like, and I'm just always like, like, I'll be on my phone, like, at my house, and I'll, be, I'll like show Catherine, like, he's calling me again. <laughs> it's like all the time. And like, it's probably business, but it's going to be right. after 15 minutes worth. That's the hardest. Yeah. I have to answer every single phone call because it's like, I can't say no. Yeah. So. I wish you had the nerve and the confidence to do that to a friend. I would just like call a friend I haven't talked to in a while and just give him 15 minutes worth of the weirdest updates. <laughs> like, they're just, dude, so how's like, I saw you went on tour. It's like, dude, I went to Pi Five the other day. They closed at eight. <laughs> yeah. Just complain about the most like, yeah. you know, trivial stuff. Yeah. They didn't have pepperoni. Can you believe that? Dumpsteroni. <laughs> we called my cousin. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Dude, Giordano, that's good. Giordano's. Anyway. Uh, Brad, I went to my first, like, public uh, event kind of thing since Corona. Or whatever. Yeah, I went yeah, to yeah. a wedding. The wedding, yeah. yeah. You know, it's like my first. Uh-huh. What am I trying to say? What is that word? I don't know. Outing? Like outing? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> Probably like, not your outing. There but, were yeah. people. Yeah. It was an I, outing. I, I did it. Yeah. I came out. And at the wedding, <laughs> it was awesome. I came out and people applauded. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, never mind. I, yeah, I was trying that's to see some, yeah, I was like, eh, some other jokes. Um, it, it was so fun just to see just old friends, new friends. Mm -hmm. you know, well, not you don't see new friends. You make new friends, I guess. Mm -hmm. Ben Rector came back old friends. Mm -hmm. Little line, but meaningful. It's you a, know that that hit me in the feels. It's I, so simple. I but, sent that song to Scott like immediately. I was like, really? dude, this this resonates with me with you, man. Like, I mean, the whole song is is pretty well written about like, I know what your backyard looks like. Yes, and I know the backyard thing yeah. got me. It's like, I don't care how good of friends you are with someone now. Yeah, you won't like, okay. You want yeah. another parents back? Yeah. Yeah, you get it. Ben, you, you know what you're doing. You can't make old friends. Yeah. Um, but you can't make new ones. And you can teach new tricks. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm trying to think where to start. A lot happened at this wedding. Um, first of all, you know, I've went back and forth. I want a girlfriend. That was after I saw Aladdin. I wanted my Jasmine. Yeah. Then I said, I don't want a girlfriend anymore. Mm hmm now that I've seen, you know, just two two people form a covenant bond, I want a girlfriend. I'm back. I'm team girlfriend slash wife. Oh, man. Bring them to me. I can just see the girls Natasha. right now getting on their Instagram DMs. Carpe DMs, ladies. <laughs> Carpe DMs. <laughs> uh, send them to Ghost Sweater so that I can vet them all. Yeah. 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 Um, you if, won't know if Jake or Brad are responding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll keep it pretty neutral. Yeah. If Natasha doesn't respond, then I'll, we'll go for that. <laughs> um, I thought I had, uh, like I said, a lot of wedding thoughts. One of them being... Uh, wedding pamphlets. I don't know if everyone's like this, but I've got Programs that sucker. Oh yeah, wedding program pamphlets. <laughs> this wedding brochure for a timeshare in Orlando. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I mean, this is a pretty good, like buy one get one free at Mr. Goodson Slater. That sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> what do you think? You're more of a subway guy. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's, that's fine. fine. Okay, yeah. uh, wedding program. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know, you get there early for a wedding, or yeah. you should. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yes, you should. That you should. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You should. Mm -hmm. I'll, I don't know what else to do before weddings. And so I have that sucker memorized. Yeah. I would love someone to quiz me on a wedding program, like when the reception's <laughs> over. Yeah. Like that thing is so like, right. and I love following along with it too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like 
every wedding's the same. I don't know why I'm like, this must, what do we have here? Oh, oh yep, it's a scripture yeah. reading. Uh -huh. Yeah, okay. Well, I mean, that makes sense. So next is probably the... Uh, sure. Unity uh, candle? Okay. Oh, yeah, unity candle. Oh, they oh they're, skip, they're oh, skipping no, that. Oh. They're doing the sand thing. Oh, they're doing the sand thing. Oh. Just... <laughs> <laughs> that's good. The sand thing, yeah. Yeah. Or How'd like you... the Father's love for us while doing the sand? Good. Oh, good okay. choice. That's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. What verse they're going with? Oh, love is patient, love is kind. Okay, okay. Now, now let's see. Uh, they're singing. Oh, one of the singers is also a bridesmaid. Oh, interesting oh, okay. connection Challenge there. Friends. Okay, Very nice. save some money probably. Uh -huh. Matron of honor, she's already married. Okay, okay, okay. So, so don't fine. look at her. Yeah, I'm too yeah. far away to see the ring, so I gotta you know right. rely on that. Yeah, I feel like I'm reading them like a menu sometimes right. too. You yeah. know, just like oh the uh, the. I mean, the scripture readings here are to die for. You gotta get a scripture reading here. Yeah, they go ESV, and it's nice. It is nice. <laughs> it is nice. Smooth. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Accurate. <laughs> oh. Edgy. You gotta Funny. have a scripture reading here. Yeah. Oh, at, yeah. At, at I the mean, barn they, door. Yeah, they, they went for a while. They tried out the message, and it just wasn't the same, so they came back. Yeah, they got a new chef. They got yeah. a new... Bible. Officiant, yeah. <laughs> and uh, it's just, you know, they yeah. got a new owner, you yeah. know, and uh, this place, it's, it's going back uphill. I'll tell you what, Brad, that's a good place right there. That's a nice wedding. You know, two kids just getting married. They're, they they had two and then they have four. You know, me and my wife got married once. Yeah. And that just tells you the whole story. I'll tell you what, back when we got married, Brad, it was 500 maybe $600 tops for everything. We had a cake. We had some flowers. Now it's like $500 just for the flowers. He'll just look at you. <laughs> huh? uh, tell me something that you think about that, Brad. <laughs> Your turn to talk. <laughs> you, uh, you put the list or the impediment on every time. Your turn. Your turn to yeah, talk. I love it. Yeah, no, he went to Boston. He's, he yeah. was there for a bit. Um, one cool thing. Uh, well, I almost said people at the wedding listen to the pod, but that's not entirely accurate. People who went to the wedding know people who listen to the pod. That happened three different times. Someone was like, hey, so I just want to introduce myself. I don't know you and I don't listen to your podcast, but my <laughs> friend does. That happened, I think, two times someone introduced themselves to me. And then the other one was, uh, you know, Sarah Lewis. Yeah. Oh, Sarah. No. <laughs> Sarah Lewis. <laughs> Is that Did a... I talk about that on oh, the podcast? Oh, yeah, maybe you have. It's Lewis. Yeah. She's got like... a crazy last name. No, yeah. I don't know how to pronounce it. She's okay. married. She's made turn of honor. Good for you, sir. Um, good for you. But she was like, uh, I don't tell you this in your podcast, but some of my friends, I'm actually staying with them. They love your podcast. <laughs> I'm trying to think of it. Joy. Joy. Joy is her name, I think. She got Joy and her down husband. In her heart. Joy, Joy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so shout out Joy. Listen to the pod. What up, Joy? Uh, girl Allie said her sister Alyssa listens. Shout out to Liz. Oh, sure, Lissy. Lissy. Yeah. I and don't know why you gotta be great. <laughs> Thanks for listening to the Ghost Runners podcast. Uh, and it was cool. I saw so many patrons at the wedding. I wish I didn't do that. So go, yeah, go ahead. Um, I was saying, I saw so many of our $15 patrons at the wedding. Really? It was crazy. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, Anna Winters was there. You know her. I don't know her, but I know her name because of, yeah, no. I know her. You're right. We are friends with everybody. Yeah. That, that watches the, and yeah, she's the, the one she's got the, the freckle. Oh yeah. But we all love it. We call yeah, her Freck. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Frecky, Frecky Winters. Yeah. Allison, yeah. Allison Gray was there. You know, she got the last name that's hard to pronounce. Oh, uh, so, yeah. It's like, it's like, is it a cheese? Is it like a side dish? Is it like just a last name? Yeah. Um, oh, Hope Easton was there. I, did I tell you that? Hope was there. Hope East. No, she wasn't. Yes. Yeah, I, I looked right over. I said, Hope floats. And oh, she said, like, Float me all the way here, baby. <laughs> you're like, Take it, Easton. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, um, oh, she's the one that has that crazy dance move. Yes. And she did it at the very end she of the did night. The worm. Like, yeah, yeah. The worm, but it was it's backwards like sideways. and on roller skates. <laughs> Oh, I'll tell you guys, good dance moves. Um, Aaron Brown was there. No. Teach Me How to Dougie came on and... A Brown got down. A Brown got down. No, she didn't. Yes. A he, whatever. Um, Hard to know. E Brown or A Brown? She, it had a hat. E Brown. Oh, E Brown. So, so it's a girl. E yeah. Brown got down. She had a hat on too, which I thought was weird for a wedding, but it was she kept it very gender neutral. You know, it was oh, hard good. to tell. Right. Good for the, her. The bun was talked. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. She wore like a Pharrell hat. Um, Emily Berry was dancing. Very licious. <laughs> My gosh. Uh, it was good to see you very, very much. Oh, very, very much. Yeah. Um, I can barely uh, believe my here. excitement that you're here. Um, tell you who else was there. It was fun to see her. Katie Scanlon. Scans? Yeah. Scan Sc Scansy Pants. Oh, yeah? Scansy Pants was there. No. Yeah. And she, oh my, we just caught up. She brought her dog, which is cool. <laughs> What? I thought there was going to be one more like joke to that. Sorry. <laughs> she brought her dog? Yeah. Rover? Yeah. Oh, yeah. no way. It's such a classic dog name, but oh, I mean. Oh, my God. Oh. But it's like, that's why you do it. That's why you do it. That's a classic name because it's a classic dog. 
Yeah. yeah. Um, I'm trying to think who else was there. Oh, I saw Lindsay Sir. Sir Lindsay was there. Lindsay Saria. <laughs> Lindsay, yes, Lindsay yes. Saria. And you're like, oh, seriously? I, you made it all the way here? I, Lindsay? Yes. You shouldn't have. She curled her hair, which looks so good. She looks so much better with curled hair. Yeah. Did she have the bangs still, or did she cut them off? She cut them off. Good for her. So she cut them off herself. She get, she cut them off, but she got the ombre curls, right? <laughs> it's yeah. like it's like blonde and brown. <laughs> brown to blonde. Yes. Brown roots. Right. Which, and you're like, maybe it's Maybelline? And you're like, no, no, it's Saria. Saria. Yeah. I'm, oh, mm-hmm. very good. Uh, dude, it was crazy how many patrons were there. <laughs> and so many women, too, which is crazy. Um, Nicole Turner was dancing. No. Yes. Well, she's she not said, usually, she's usually the one, like, um, you know, like orchestrating the the band, the wedding band. So I'm surprised that she was on the floor. No, she was. Yeah, she was like, um, you know, the hokey pokey. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Put your right foot in, right foot out. Turn it all about. Yeah. Turner. Turner all yeah, about. Yeah, Turner hardly know yeah. her. You yeah, know, yeah, everyone yeah. is cracking those jokes. And it was oh, funny. Nicole. She she was really good back in the day. I actually went to high school with her and she was really okay, good I thought at so. um, swimming. She was just she was just an amazing freestyler. And so uh, people were like, Oh, she's really good at freestyling. Bring her on up because she's like the wedding band person. Blah, blah, yeah. blah. And uh, they they brought her up and it was like she failed miserably. And it was like one of the most embarrassing moments of her life. Oh, my God. She's like, guys, no, it's freestyle like stroke. <laughs> like I'm a stroke. Uh, and they're like, oh, you want us to play the stroke? Oh, and never there was that drunk guy in the corner. He's like, show us the breast stroke. Oh, oh we had to kick him out. Hey. Dude, that same guy yeah. was there. No. It was Ben Sturgeon. It was Sturgey. Ben <laughs> Yeah, dude. Yeah. No. He was there. He was not drunk, though. He was oh, not. He's, he's kind of turned his life around. Turn her life around. Good good for you, Ben. Yeah, he's not yelling about the breast stroke anymore. He's a butterfly guy now. Yeah, alcohol is a has-been. <laughs> has been. Yeah, I, th- I feel like there was one more that we saw there. Please, please t- tell me it was oh, our friend. Yes. Yeah. Abby Brooks. <laughs> Abby Brooks. Yes. <laughs> Abby Brooks was I there. Knew, I Well, like she was like a maybe for a long time. Yes. She's like, I think I can make it. Uh, I but, was checking you know, her location to see if she was coming. Well, she had a book reading out in, on the West Coast. And oh, so yeah, I was yeah. like, I mean, but quarantine, I think kind of, you know, it, it hurt. It hurt everybody. Mm-hmm. Not just Abby Brooks, but definitely her. And so. Uh, she came back and I was like, hey, not too shabby. Yeah, she brought a Brooks with her. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> a Brook reading, yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> it was cool to see all those people there and um, just crazy that they support us yes. financially uh, every month and that they went to the same wedding as me. Oh, that was really fun. So, that was nuts. That. Um, wow. Yeah, I wasn't planning on doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I just had that idea and pulled up Patreon real quick. For anybody who didn't get the joke until right now, none of those people were there. Uh, right? Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> well, seriously. Uh, uh, one other we thing about improvising. W- weddings in general. I was catching up with my um, one of my good friends, Megan. Megan. No, <laughs> <laughs> what dance would she do? <laughs> uh, Megan Pavelka, not a p- patron, but a listener. You'll get there, Megan. You'll get there. Yeah. Keep yeah. saving. Mm-hmm. And she uh, was talking. She. Did, this is like unrelated to like wedding. Uh, that I went to one, but she was like telling me she's like I've had this idea. She's like someday I want to open. Uh, like some sort of like bar, uh, restaurant, something, I guess like a, a, a bar place. And it's called the reception and it's all like wedding themed and it's supposed to be like a wedding reception is happening. It's so like you this have like fun. You have paid actors be the bride and groom every night. Like there's an actual bride <laughs> oh, and groom. Wow. There's like toast. There's like champagne. There's a cake cutting. Like it's not the full thing, but like it's like that's really fun. like a wedding reception. Wouldn't that be so sweet? Yes. And like the price of admission gets you cake. Like, so yeah. you don't have to like worry about all that. Yeah. Like oh, you'll like get cake, maybe at least one glass of champagne, like on the house. That oh, might get expensive. and you have to like, like, like they have to dismiss you to go to the buffet line. Like table seven, <laughs> it's your turn. You're like, yes. They play the shoe game and you're like, oh, we've seen this before. What's the shoe game? Oh, you don't know? Oh man. It's one of my least favorite things at weddings. Is it? I, I know the one where it's like, if you've been married, you know. Oh, that is less favorable. Two hours. Get off the dance floor. And then everyone laughs and then you find out who the oldest people are. Uh-huh. And then they t- and then it's like, we're going to give them a chance to say what they've learned about their marriage. Mm-hmm. And then you can't hear them because they're just crazy old. Yeah, and everyone's people don't talking. People use a microphone. Like, they'll always be like. Yeah, so we just really like they're just like so far away from and like it. how can you not hear your voice not being loud because they're old they're yeah. so old yeah always they're always old Why are people who've been old? married so long are always so old yeah it's weird that is weird like how winky dink that is I'm gonna get Hattie married early like maybe uh, 10 12 oh years that old. way with that is still a trend 60 years from now people will be able to hear that's the only reason why I'm gonna do that <laughs> yeah that'll be worth it though <laughs> it will be uh, the shoe game is bride and groom sit back to back. Oh, they each take their shoes hold- off. Who's the uh, the messiest? And then the bridals of the groom and the groom's of the bride. And everyone laughs because like, they, they do that at opposites. the weddings. I've seen that at like showers. I, I've, I've never filmed seen a, a couple. 
Really? Which it's just, you know, yeah, I'm yeah, sure yeah. it's fun for you. Yeah. But it's not for most people. Just <laughs> oh, I kind of like those things. It, I'm cheesy though, like that. I don't really? know. But like, yeah, but I understand why. Like if you're not, if you don't know them very personally, like it was, I've only watched it actually at one shower. It was Thomas and Abby, my friend Thomas Cole, who got me a tuxedo too late. Um, <laughs> but it's awesome. He's the same guy. guy doing the flower delivery probably. Yeah, probably. But I thought it was kind of fun to watch him. But. See, I just think there's only, I guess now that I've seen it twice, I'm mm-hmm. like, oh, there's only one, si- like, uh, whatever, like, there's only one way this goes is that like we just wait to hear their answers and then we laugh whenever they say opposing things like yeah. that's the entire game is waiting for them to say opposite things and then we chuckle. There's not there. There's a very low ceiling. Like it's like it just seems so simple. Best case scenario. Yeah, they <laughs> they disagree and we laugh. And we laugh. Yeah. And then worst case scenario, they keep agreeing that the husband is the worst and we laugh at that. <laughs> you know, it's yeah. just it, right. They will not be at my wedding reception. Mine's going to be so... Oh, it's going to be nuts. Oh, you guys have to come. It's going to be nuts. You have to come. It's I hope Abby be... Brooks comes. Oh, she will. She'll, she'll bring her Brooks. She'll make it, yeah. Uh, Just make sure it's not, you know, during Pulitzer season. Because she's an Pulitzer? author. Uh, Nobel Peace Prize. What's a, what's a book? Uh, Blue Ribbon. No, Metal. Oh, something. yeah, what was that? Was Calicot. A... Ooh. That one? Maybe. Yeah, something. You know, like the... the yeah, thing. it was like a, a golden like stamp that was on the good books. Yeah, but not Buddy. Pfft. Remember that one? No. Watson's go to Birmingham? Pfft. No. Uh, the Giver? Pfft. Yeah. Holes. Yeah. Holes got it on for sure. Walk Two Moons? Pfft. Never heard that, of that. That was a weird stamp. That one didn't get placed. <laughs> that one was... <laughs> oh, that was... <laughs> Walk Two Moons? Pfft. Throws the breaststroke? Pfft. Throws the breaststroke? You ever see... Um, what's his name? He's like an old YouTuber, like old school YouTuber. He's he's the guy who does the... Uh, look at that. You just look at it. Oh, yeah. Ed Bassmaster. He has that video just called. Psh. Have you seen that video? Where he just goes up to people. He'll just go up to a guy. Psh. <laughs> <laughs> and just like shake his head at him. And that's all. It's crazy how riled up he can get people only saying. Psh. It's awesome. It's a great video. <laughs> because it's just like this assumption of like whatever, whatever your biggest insecurity about yourself <laughs> is like this yeah. guy's like bringing it out of him. You like walk up to a guy. Psh. Shake his head. <laughs> Keep walking like five more feet. Turn around. Shake his head again. Psh. It's so simple. That's so good. Funny. Now that would be a wedding reception game. Okay. Just kidding. Um, <laughs> but yeah, the reception. Shout out Megan for the idea. Um, sorry if you were going to actually do that. And I just told a lot of people and you better work fast. That's but, a great idea. I but, think there more than one person can do that because that's a great idea. You think so? Oh, yeah. Oh, one yeah. in every city. It's the new it's the new sky zone. <laughs> <laughs> I um, I think this is pretty well known, but I, I mean, I love Chili's. I go there once a week at least and get Chili's to go. Mm-hmm. And it's the same thing every time I, I call when I'm about nine minutes away. I've learned how long it takes to make it. You know, you just got to maximize. Hurry, get it. Hurry, get home while it's still hot. Yes. Whatever. I'm a firm believer in that. Yeah. I kind of learned that from you. Uh-huh. I'm like, hey, prioritize this. This is yes, important, dude. Um, you can't you can eat inside. But if you want it to go order, you can't go inside to like pick it up. You have curbside. to stay in your car. Yeah. Curbside. That's the only option oh, for it to go. OK. And it's I been that I, way. I think I maybe see where you're going. It's been that way for a long time. You probably do. Yeah. Um, I had Tina. That's her actual name was uh tina was the sky zone girl too <laughs> you know she's she's double double trouble yeah yeah good for her i uh, there's always about three seconds of fill time in every one of these orders where they give me the um thing like the bill to sign yes I, and yes. i'm writing it down and it's just like you know it takes me out to fill out tip total sign in. and every time i'm just like how's your day going how's mm-hmm. it you know whatever just fill the sign it's not just gonna sit there while they watch me and so just like always brings me my food brings me my bill and so I'm like, hey, how's it going? She's like, well, you know, it's going all right, except for these people who don't want to tip me. Oh, as I've already put down zero. But it made me feel like at first it was like, oh, why would you do that? But then I was like, should I be tipping? No, no. OK, I don't think so. I am sure tip this could, this a big 20 percent restaurant yeah, 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 tip. Yeah, of course, of course. Across the board. Bad service. Still 15. Why? Because they do something for they, you. They provide a service. They are serving me. And, and you literally said they can't. They You can't go up. Like you would love to just go get the food yourself. Yeah. But I but, would. That's always an option. Or yeah. like that's always like what I prefer. Right. No, no. I I think that we're going to get there's going to be some controversy about this out there. But no, I, I don't think I, I see any reason that you should tip them. I, I didn't think so either, but I generally was like, well, maybe I should be, because I don't want to be that guy that's like, oh, everyone else does this. 
No, I don't think so. I, I would be interested to know exactly how that works for her because my sister used to work at Chili's and she was a waitress there. And the waitresses always have to give a portion, like the percentage of their tips, like their total tips uh, out to the, the bus boys and like the hostesses and stuff like that. Who are getting tips. And so I would assume that that girl would fall into that same category. She's getting restaurant tips. Yeah. So yeah, I don't know. That's just unprofessional no matter what to be like, yeah, I'm frustrated. And you're like, oh yeah, that's terrible. Zero. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'd already written the zero. And I was like, well, did she see that? Or did she just say this to everyone? Either way, didn't like it. Like, uh, didn't like, like it. One of the most popular barbecue places in Kansas City, Joe's, they always have a uh, line for tip, but you literally just go through a line and then they give you your food. I'm like, what am I tipping? Why? <laughs> I like if you want more money for your food, just charge more and I'll pay it. Charge more money. But I don't really understand why I would tip anything. What? Anyway, you yeah, know, you could 100%. probably get away with as a business, which I think is illegal, probably. Okay. But just charging a 20% sales tax. That's the thing I never look at. Oh, yeah. You know, just like it's an extra whatever, you know, 11% every bill. Is that illegal or is it like charge yeah, whatever you want like to, to call it tax, I guess? Because I don't, I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't talk about this. <laughs> But I don't really know like what the standard tax is on things. So whenever I tax, I just kind of tax 9.2% because I've seen other people do that. <laughs> oh, I thought you were like, it just felt good. I was, I was almost born like, in 92. So that's cool. Like the place I buy a lot of my wood from is 9.2% tax. And so I'm like, I'll do that. If they're, yeah, same state. But it's not like, no, it's not. It's in, it's in Missouri. Oh, that's different. So I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Huh. But I don't know. Um, I do not tip that person ever. Okay. Maybe, maybe won't. honestly ask for a little bit of money back, you know? <laughs> Like she asked me, how's it going? Good. I mean, I had to pay full price for this meal. Good. I mean, you're not giving me chips for free, but besides that, I'm all right. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I'm curious though. Like if, if, if you have any experience with this, especially during these times, like I don't want to just short somebody that's like, that's where they're making I'm their supposed own. To. But, but like that girl gets the short end of the stick for sure. If that's the only way she's supposed to get tipped and paid because she's not doing that much. I'm going to be honest. You're not doing that much. I parked in the closest spot. To yeah, the door. they're so close. So close. Yeah, don't, I, I don't, don't feel guilty, Jake. Okay, thank you. No matter you. what anybody says. Okay. And I'm a nice guy. You're, You're nice. a nice guy. We're like, nice. I'm not, I'm not saying like, like I'm not, uh, I'm too stingy. Like I am stingy, but I'm not that stingy. Not too stingy. Like if you deserve a tip, I'll give you one. Yes. I don't get it why you would get that. I don't get it. I don't get it. Yo, yo, poppies, <laughs> oh. Jake and Brad, this is <laughs> Caleb I like from it. Oklahoma City, a uh, big fan of the podcast, and I just wanted to uh, bring to your attention some huge news. Um, as of this fall, Chicken and Pickle is bringing a location to Oklahoma City. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'd like I to saw the sign when I was down either there. Jake or Brad uh, when they're in Oklahoma City to Pickleball. Um, I also had a question for you. Um, if you could pick your own name when you were born or right now, what would you choose? Because Growing up, I, I know I always wanted to change my name to something cool, mm -hmm. um, like Rufus. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Um, but yeah. That's your token. Have a great day. <laughs> Keep up the incredible like work. I want. Um, on your feet, bye-bye. Like that guy, like he's so cool. Like Zane's such a good skateboarder. Like, I don't know, like Drake can rap really well. Who did he bring with him, though? Who is that? Like, oh, that new guy, Rufus. Holy cow. <laughs> You see his name one shirts? The jeans on him. <laughs> the jeans. Uh, growing up, it was Kobe. Kobe. Kobe was a cool name. Yeah, I wanted to be Kobe. Yeah. I've, I've been teaching Hattie every time she throws something in a basket to say Kobe. That's a sweet thing to teach your child. And, and now it's like a verb. She's like, <clears throat> I want a Kobe. I want a Kobe. It. That'll work. Yeah. That'll do. Like I'll, I was like throwing her uh, dirty, like I was changing her into her pajamas the other night and I was putting it into dirty clothes and she's like, oh, let me Kobe it. That's awesome. Okay. Hattie. Get that wrist strong. Yeah. Get it strong. Absolutely. Follow through with these two fingers. Wrist that. strong. Oh, wrist yeah? strong. Okay. Number one. Um, now well, though, it'd be Sylvester, I think. Sylvester Ellis. And they could call me Les. L-E-S. Ooh. Kind of like less, 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 less. Yeah, you got like Legolas, uh, Ellis, Sil oh, Silvestre. less, less, Ellis. Yeah, less, Ellis, less, Ellis, less, Ellis, less, Ellis. Please, someone say. I don't really know how that song goes. That's that uh, well, early Rihanna. Yeah, right. Oh, 100%, probably. Yeah. That's probably my name. I would choose Rihanna. Oh, <laughs> what's up, Rihanna triplet? What's or up? Or just Rihanna? <laughs> just take out everything else. Yeah. No, I don't know. My dad had a bunch of nicknames for me. Like, yeah, old Rihanna over like there. Um, idiot or like <laughs> waste of space. It's like cool stuff. Like, I don't know. That could be fun. Dumpster Roni. Dumpster Roni. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think what, my, what would I actually choose? What would my name for me? Maybe like Donkey. 
Because I think everyone would say it in like a cool way. Donkey? Uh, donkey. Yeah. Like, no, but it has to be donkey. Like, donkey? It, it's, it's not donkey. I know it's not donkey. Like, it's D O N K E H. Donkey. Oh, K E H. Yeah. Yeah. Or you like, and people be like, you mean donkey? No, no, no. You're sorry. You're saying it wrong. It's donkey. 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 That'll do donkey. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be my name. Oh, that's good. Donkey triplet. Hey, it's me, donkey. <laughs> Don yeah. Man, do you think if I would have thought of that before, and I would have a better name? <laughs> <laughs> no. no, 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 no. This is great. Donkey, donkey. Uh, thank you, Caleb. Hey, Jake and Brad. This is Mackenzie from Atlanta, Georgia. Long time listener, second time caller, and I just wanted to share some habits I've picked up from you guys. Oh. So the first one, Brad, I think a while back you mentioned how you thought people merged too early onto freeways. Oh. And ever mm. since you said that, I've been waiting longer to yes. merge. And I have to say, I agree. I think it causes less traffic yes. waiting to merge. Thank you. And so I'm liking that so far. A lot less stressful than trying to get over right away. The second one okay. is I'm no longer hanging up on phone calls. I'm just wow. letting other people yeah. do it. And yeah. so far, I've got 100% Go. success rate. So not bad. Um, my second thing is for Jake. So I'm about to get on my first flight since Corona happened. And I know that you've been traveling a decent amount. So I was wondering if you have any Corona traveling trips, tips or if you just have any funny stories from traveling during Corona. All right. Hmm. Bye bye. <laughs> this would I be mean, perfect for last week. Definitely book American Airlines <laughs> and check your bag and uh, have all your deodorant in there. Yeah, you've had it's, a lot more travel than you wanted to. Yeah, week. yeah. Spend a night in Phoenix. Um, <laughs> hang out with some random people from Instagram you never met. Make sure they're Mormon. Mm -hmm. um, corona travel tips. I don't know. Make sure you have a comfortable mask because you're going to be wearing that sucker for a long time. So if you got a layover, I mean, that's legitimately like, you know, if you follow the rules, I mean, that could be like seven hours straight of wearing a mask, which I know nurses have to do that for 12 hours. That's crazy. But if you're a weak little boy like me, I got a weak front face. That was one of my dad's other nicknames for me. <laughs> Come um, here, you WFF. <laughs> hey, front face. <laughs> well, uh, no, it was weak, thin face. And you just call it WTF. <laughs> Come on, weak, thin face. <laughs> I was like, wheat thin? No, no, no. No, no, no. Weak thin. Weak thin face. You get it. You get it. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. Uh, so have a comfortable mask. He's in gifted class. I mean, anytime you're traveling by air, I'd always recommend like some planes are super warm, some are super cold. You want to have a good temp on an airplane and you don't have much control over it. You go so, like a sweatshirt tied around the waist. Sure. Like, yeah. Yeah. Uh, do something. Have like a hoodie ready. Yeah. Potentially. Um, How's the sec on. Is security any different? Like, is it taking any longer to get through stuff? Yeah, things are going faster, and you can get there earlier than you need to. Okay. Um, security's going pretty fast. I'm trying to think what else is changing. I mean, it's pretty easy to travel right now. Flights are cheap. I think Americans like filling their flights, but like Delta and Southwest are still making them half full, mm. which is nice. That is nice. Oh, it's nice, especially when it's like a GA seating, like a Southwest is, where you don't really know where you're going to sit. And, yeah. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, I'd love to do. I'll do C C four boarding because I'll just be in the back by myself. That's awesome. That's great. Yeah. Um. Any other tips? I probably I don't know. Um. Don't be a goofus. <laughs> don't be a goofus. Don't be a goofus. Don't bring anything illegal with you on the plane. Don't shout bomb. Yeah. Even if you're doing a bath bomb, still don't say it. It's still not worth it. And why are you doing bath bombs in the airport? Also, yeah. Just wait. Just have those shipped yeah. to where you're going. Uh, that's cool that you're such an influencer though on McKinsey. Yeah. The, the merging and the, the hanging up. <laughs> the merging thing is like something I'm passionate about. Every time I'm driving and I see people like there's traffic and it's like, this is so unnecessary that this traffic is zipper here. guys, Seriously. zipper, just do it, just do it. And like, it needs to be no stigma about it. Just like, like not tipping the curbside person. There needs yeah. to be no stigma about it. Like, I think people are just worried that they're offending people by doing it. You're not, you're not, you shouldn't be. You're not. You're smart. Yo, Jake and Brad, how's it going? It's uh, it's your favorite person from Traverse City, Michigan, Levi Prohl. Here we go. Uh, I'm kind of like the I'm Down Boys roadie. I was there when they <laughs> signed in their first, uh, first voice memo. And uh, yeah, ever since they left it, you guys have just been talking about Traverse City and the I'm Down Boys like a whole lot. So I thought it'd be fun if uh, you guys go on Google and type down Traverse City, Michigan. And I want you guys to kind of look around and see... Look for some stuff in restaurants or whatever. And I want you to plan out sure. a trip. Look like maybe just stuff. like a short little weekend trip or something up here. You don't have to do it. Just like be a little <laughs> fun thing to do. And okay. uh, meanwhile, while you're at it, go ahead and tell us some stuff that's amazing about uh, Kansas City if we ever go there. And uh, yeah, thanks for all that you guys do. Have a great one. 
I love the, the, the liberal usage of the word stuff. Google Traverse City. Look for some stuff. See what feel, stuff you like. Feel free to talk about your own stuff. <laughs> just, it's just such a catch-all word. Love it. Yeah. Oh, man. I okay. mean, you got to go to Clinch Park when you're there, right? Well, I mean, sure. That's what everyone's like. Hey, That's where they filmed that scene in uh, You've Got Mail with Meg Ryan and, and Tom Hanks. That's right. That's where Clinch they got Park. the mail. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Famous post office. Oh, and then, of course, you're going to Left Foot Charlie if you're any kind of a wine person. Left you're, Foot Charlie. And you're a connoisseur of wine. Yeah. What's your favorite wine? Right. Uh, Red? Left. Red left. left. It's like Twister. Oh, left yeah. hand red. <laughs> you go there, you play a little Twister, you get a little drunk, see that what happens. Nice. That sounds nice. Next thing you know, Tom Hanks is giving you mail. <laughs> oh, they got the city Car opera. Hand oh. ready. <laughs> <laughs> you want to hear a joke? <laughs> oh, wow. There's lots of lots of wineries They here. have an opera house. City opera house. Oh. I've been to the Sydney one. Oh, it's right on the water. I bet it looked exactly the same. Sid Sydney. City opera house. Yeah, there's, a, uh, there's an auto zone. That I, is pretty nice. <laughs> That's but let me tell you, they said I have to burn off my lug nuts. 4.5 stars, though. I mean... The burn them off, Brad? You can't burn off lug nuts. You don't need to do that. But I'm really glad that they did it, because if I had, <laughs> had a flat tire on the side of the road, there's no way I'm taking those lug nuts off myself, Brad. Uh, you ever tried to take off lug nuts? <laughs> my son did one time. Then he went down to Florida. <laughs> um, they got Volleyball Beach right there on Lake... Why why am I Googling like this? Traverse City Pickleball, please. What lake is that? Michigan. There. Oh, I really <laughs> had to zoom out. Dude, dude I just dude, kept zooming. Big old lake. <laughs> I just kept zooming out and zooming out. <laughs> dude, Traverse City's cool. Okay. Whoa, look at this town name. P Pesh oh. Be careful. <laughs> Peshobston. Peshobstown. Peshobston. Peshobston. That's cool. All right. Well, well they have it. some words called pickleball outfitters. And Whoa. Be like, we could be like those weird people who play with a glove on. Like, what could that possibly help? Dude, that's so funny because I've thought about buying a glove. Why? Because my hands get so sweaty that I, I like lose it's just grip. like a ba batting glove, right? Or no, is it like, like grippy? It's got to be grippy. Sure, it's grippy. That's my, yeah, it's definitely not for like the shock of the paddle. I feel like I saw like one old woman playing with it one time and she just had like a Franklin batting glove on. I was just like, <laughs> there's no way that's how is that? Yeah. For the shock absorption of a pickleball, like plastic. It's, it's got to be the, it's got to be the, the grip. It's got to be the shoes. Pickleball outfitters is cool though. Check out, check out, uh, oh crap. Where'd it go? Grace McDonald park. If you're ever interested in some pickleball in Traverse city. Oh, okay. It's off of uh, Arbutus Lake road. Okay. Mm -hmm. That makes sense. Right down, right by that huge lake. What was it called? Lake. <laughs> Um, Dude, you have to zoom out so much. Oh, Michigan! <laughs> before it tells you what, what lake is this? it is. This is a huge bay is... right here. What is that thing? What is that thing up north? Oh, the Hudson Bay. Okay. <laughs> you guys would have been in my shoes on Google Maps. You would have done the same thing. It was just funny. Just really, really zoomed that's in. A, that's a pretty big lake up I mean, there. That lake is big, and it's right next to Michigan. What's Look at that other on? one. That one's even bigger. What's that one? Like, superior. Oh, superior. Yeah, it's even bigger <laughs> and better. Uh, okay, let's do one more voice Great. memo. Oh, this Great. is from our girl. Amanda Ocon. Amanda Ocon. Hey guys, Amanda Ocon again. <laughs> just wanted to let you know that you have jinxed family video. They just announced that they are closing 17 of their 24 stores, including mine here in Freeport, Illinois. Like 24 Wait, 24 stores? I went today and I just bought an obscene <laughs> amount of not. movies that I do not need, like at all. Anyway, I have a improv game for you guys. Oh boy. Um, it's something I played in high school speech class. Oh um, boy. And it is, you are telling a story uh, you go line by line telling it back and forth between you two. I'm so bad. Um, the catch stuff. is that you have to use the letters of the alphabet to start each line, oh, uh, starting with the letter A. Mm -hmm. And you also only have 10 seconds to say your line or else you lose. Okay. So have fun with that one, guys. Bye-bye. No, we're we're going to do two seconds. Yeah, yeah. And use we, instant. We return. need like a setting. Okay, what's the, what's the, who are we and what's the setting? Uh, we <clears throat> are, we're at a pizza shop. I'm uh -huh. a customer. You're working. Okay. Oh, I'm working. So I'm first, probably? Uh, yeah, sure. Aloha. What do you have here? Like, what do you want? Bacon, cheese, maybe some pepperoni? Cheese? What kind of cheese do you want? Doubt I'll have any mozzarella. You have anything else? Eh, not really. I We have uh, we have some Gouda in the fridge. For real? Heck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I have <laughs> alphabet. <laughs> American alphabet. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I didn't know you had Gouda. Oh, I went. I, I, I said I went in the wrong order. I didn't know you had Gouda. 
Oh, just got it yesterday. Yeah, it's really good stuff. Kidding. Lying, but <laughs> not. <laughs> Lying, I am not. Man, well, I might have to have some Gouda then. No problem. Uh, we can get the Gouda for you. Uh, hey, hey, Timmy! The kid wants the Gouda! Gouda on right! Oh, I do not have my wallet. <laughs> Dang it. Probably, probably a good thing you need a wallet because of uh, your credit card. Let so, so go get your wallet. Quick, let me go get it. <laughs> Real fast, because I got people behind you in line. Sammy, he can wait. No, Timmy, he's, he's in a hurry. He's, he's playing basketball for the Spurs later. Utah? Or no, wait, San Antonio. Very correct with San Antonio. <laughs> well, um, just wait and let me go get my wallet real quick. Xylophone practice. Timmy, you're, you're working here, okay? <laughs> Work here, get the Gouda for this kid. He's going to get his wallet to come right back, okay? Yo, I'm back. I'm back. Did you see my spot? zippity doo You know I did. Okay, let's pay for this thing. Let's get out of here, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Oh, that was good. I should have Googled the alphabet before. <laughs> I I'm, I can't do it that quick while going through the alphabet. That's okay. Oh, man. That was fun, though. Also funny that there's been a, we, we took a little hiatus there, but there was a point where Ghost Runners were like kind of jinxing people left and right with like three episodes really? in a row where we would like mention people. Mm -hmm. I, I remember there was the John Chris thing. <laughs> and then there was like something right after that. There was also like we talked about it and it was like a nationwide thing that happened. I don't Corona know what it was. Coronavirus. Yeah, we were like, like, it's like a hoax. something. No, not that. <laughs> but I don't know. Whatever. Um, yeah, I, I think you're right. Like like stuff that we like just happenstance talked about and all of a sudden it's coming up. Yeah. Um, okay. okay. We'll save some for next week, but feel free to send some other voice memos in because these are great. It gives us stuff to talk about. We love them. You guys are awesome. Get to hear voice. Um, let's get to review of the week. Brad, would you like to go first or would you like to go second? Uh, I'm going to go second because I need to pull it up, but I want to do a YouTube comment for mine. Please. Oh, okay. Uh, here we go. This is from Jake and Brad's Minion. Interesting name. Really? Uh, the title says, this podcast will save you money. The body says, I love this podcast and I typically try to implement their strategies in my everyday life. My wife and I were on a date night the other night and we swung through the Andy's frozen custard drive through When I came to the window and the young gentleman told me the total, I asked him if there was any way I could get the good guy discount. I love that he tried this. <laughs> Telling him I was a good guy and he was a good guy. After looking confused, he told me, how about I take half off the price? This podcast has helped me continuously yes. stay on a tight budget. Get on your feet. Let's go. Andy's, Springfield, Missouri. Let's go. Let's 417. Go. You're welcome. Yes. Bass awesome. Pro, Andy's, Brad Pitt in high school. You're Silver welcome. For all City. It. Kinda. Oh, not really. Branson. That's 417. Oh, I was saying Springfield. Oh, sorry. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Uh, 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 Chinese food. It does catch your chicken American chicken. version. Um, that's all I know. That's it. Justice Jewelers. <laughs> <laughs> Went there to get my diamond appraised before I proposed to Catherine. Good. Uh, okay. Just <laughs> That's right. Uh, Battlefield Mall. Yeah. James River Big Church uh, Assembly. Thing. Yeah. And technically Ozark. Close. Okay. So. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Close, Close enough. Close. Okay, my uh, YouTube comment of the week is coming from McCade Williamson. Ten oh, hours this ago. one was awesome. This was great. This was awesome. Been binging this podcast after hearing about it on Do Less, God Bless. Shout out. Oh. And the combination of Jake and Brad is exceptional. So effortless and enjoyable to listen to that I'm sure I will listen to all 71 episodes in just a few weeks. I build wooden garage doors for a living, so I feel like Brad and I are connecting on a personal <laughs> level when he throws out terms like ingrain and crotch. <laughs> Love the podcast. Keep up the good work. Thank you, McCade. I'm so I get pumped whenever people like don't really know who we are and like our podcast a lot. That's it's hard really to do. Fun. Yeah, it's hard. To, it's, it's just so cool. So thank you for giving us a chance and listening to us and leaving this awesome comment. And leave us a five-star review once you tell your friends about it. Yes, please. And let us know how the review process was. <laughs> All right, so we've got uh, a little jingle for you guys this week, and it, uh, it's got to be an interesting one. Uh, <laughs> this is kind of my fault or my blessing. I said that we should do more, <laughs> more hood rat jingles. Yeah, the word you used was ratchet, I believe. Ratchet. Yeah, yeah get the ratchet straps. Uh, who wrote this one for us? Jenny Rutan. Cool. Rutan. Donkey. Jenny Donkey. <laughs> Jenny, Jenny Rutten. Jenny Rootin' Tootin'. Rootin' Tootin', good time. Um, I don't even want to tell you what song it is. I just, just know that Brad and I both have a part to it, and it's gonna be Zoppity. <laughs> Are you ready? Yeah, I said, yeah. I, I got it, okay. okay. You look so cool, Jake. Oh. I don't think I do look that cool. I think the hat's a little crooked. <laughs> no, no, no. It's nice. That's, that's the point. That's the, what the kids are doing these days. So cool. They put it crooked. Oh, I got nervous. I went to go scroll all the way down because we've sent a lot of bathtub pictures <laughs> to each other. I was like, when's this chorus in? And then I wasn't looking at the lyrics when I started. <laughs> and I got so nervous. 
I got there just in time to say pickleball. <laughs> I was just playing catch up the whole time. You oh, did great though. Man. You did great. Uh, thanks, man. It's been cool. We've gotten a lot of like people writing us jingles now. So yeah. if yours doesn't get chosen, it's, it's not. It's yeah. not necessarily because we didn't like it. It's yeah. just we had like six to choose from. So <laughs> we'll get to it eventually. We'll, yeah, we'll try to get to all of them. Yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, that is fun. fun. I like when you guys give me parts. Yes. Cause rap parts, especially, would you say? Yeah. Don't yeah. have me sing. Yeah. You heard Mulan. <laughs> you remember, you know, the thing, you, you know, know how that it. went. You uh, got down to business. Uh, yeah, I did, man. It is fun to dance to that song. Holy cow. <laughs> Danced to it three nights ago. got to do it again. Gosh, that is a good song. Yeehaw. Okay. So updates. Chang is not texting me back. Natasha is not DM me back. Um, but all in all a good. sode. Mm-hmm. I would say episode so. 72. Um, what, what do we want to say at the end? We should probably start. It's about that time. October is coming around. We're going to figure out some sort of Ghost Runners 5K. We talked about that last Ghost year. Ghost Runners 5K. Something needs to happen. Um, if you don't know, then just we'll, we'll tell you in a bit. If you we'll, don't know, then you'll know. Then you'll know. I hate that still. I hate. I get so frustrated. It, it, yeah, I still Every see time it. I, if you know, you know. It's like, but if you don't and you want to know, I can't how will know. I know? Oh, it bothers me. Yeah, I keep doing you. <laughs> You do you. You do you. What's that you said, Brad? What's, Did Brad? I say that on the podcast? Surely we've talked about it. My sister. What, what's that? Like instead of saying you do you, what's that thing you used to say, Brad? You you go do yourself. Is that it? Was that it? Yeah, that's sure what I'm always saying it. to my friends. That makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Go go do yourself. <laughs> WTF? Go do yourself. <laughs> Weak thin face. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, well, if you'd like to support us uh, on Patreon.com, you can do that. Uh, maybe I'll see you at a wedding reception. No, that'd be awesome. Really or, appreciate Or it. just receptions at the bar. Oh, at the bar. Mm-hmm. Thanks, Megan. Just receptions. <coughs> oh, gosh. Um, yeah, all the tiers, all the patrons, no matter where you're at. Appreciate it. Yeah. Um, check us out on Instagram. You guys have a good week. We'll see you next week. All right. Love you guys. All right. Bye now.